you return. And in your wake, Dalantarth blossoms. The flow is rearranged, now and forever. Nash's brood is at an end. You have destroyed what was written and made a new fate for Dalantarth. Even your darkest ally walks a lighter path. And yet the Tuatha still spread, marching with Prismir and pain. You have only delayed our doom. You have the power of an immortal, and yet the humility to ask for help. Little one, I envy your grace. You shall carry my blessings with you. You must know this, Quigling. The age is changing. Immortals are passing, and the future belongs to the young races. If there is a future to be had. Go and stand at the heart of the Shi. There you will find Isa, and perhaps you will find wisdom as well. May your path be long and ever green. Welcome to the Gardens of Issa, home of the Summer Court and the warm heart of the Feylands. It is a rare occasion for us to welcome a child of dust into Issa, but it is equally rare that Nirolam chooses a champion. Pleased to meet you. I am Chancellor to the High King. I pray you enjoy our hospitality.
but the High King will only meet with the If you seek the court, I see the chase. The maid, convinced of Olain's threat, agreed to free the town. The people offered thanks and praise, and quietly, she went her ways. Once the ill were brought to health, and the villain had fallen by, good Olain returned to mortal ground, and gifted them with magic foul. Greetings. What have I done now? Someone in Issa is always looking to send me away. But I won't go. No. Hello. Quiet, damn fools. Ah, oh, I'm sorry, friend, I didn't see you there. I'm afraid I'm a bit... concerned. A few nights ago, I was the victim of an attempted robbery. Someone sought to steal a gem of mine from a chest I warded myself. That night, three initiates fled the chapter. Cassera, Aloran, and Bertrand. I suspect they were somehow involved. They could only have run into the Shi. Can you find them? Thank you. Find out what happened and I'll be grateful. Until next time. Who's this? Welcome to the Issa Chapter House of the Scolia Arcana. How may I be of assistance? We are an order of magic practitioners dedicated to the fostering of knowledge regarding all things mystical and arcane. While the heart of our power lies in Rathir, we keep an embassy here in Issa to maintain strong relations with the Fae. Traditionally, our applicants undergo years of preparation, but we understand your circumstances are somewhat irregular. Ever since you entered the city, we've been watching you. After all, an endorsement from Nirilim is not quickly dismissed. If it is your wish to join our order, you must first complete the trial of initiation. Then first I shall present you with this. It is the story of the Order's founding and a good primer for all who wish to join our ranks. Now I shall summon the circle of mages necessary to perform the ritual. Savant Engar will lead the trial. Speak to him in the Delving Hall when you're ready to begin. Farewell. Don't know if we've had the pleasure. I'm the finest merchant in these parts, I assure you.
pleasure doing business. Hello. Hello. Greetings. I have some ability with the art of sage crafting. Do you wish for some instruction? Never stop practicing. Greetings. I will be the savant presiding over your trial of initiation. Traditionally, applicants have prepared for the challenges of this trial through years of study and training. But as Augra mentioned, we realize you are unique. Do you have any questions before we begin? This is a fluid magic. The form it takes varies according to the power and nature of the ritual's focus. In this case, you. The goal is a simple one. Survive. Like every Scolia Arcana member before you, to join our ranks, you must first confront the specter of your potential. And be aware that I am watching. Now, proceed into the center of the circle to begin. Good luck. Is that a pile of corpses? Fascinating. Don't pay any attention to my ramblings, Initiate. Those fair gorta look like they're out for blood. <laughs>
possess quite the capacity for violence. Intriguing. By the founders, what is that? A synergistic compound of all chemical elements resonant within a sage-crafted crystalline substructure. I do hope you survive the trial. We must discuss it further. The first phase of the trial is complete. Proceed further, Initiate, to see what lies beyond. Another cave. How interesting. Something is terribly wrong. Ahead, I sense another's presence in the trial. Dissonance, growing, cannot control. Where am I? What is this place? I am the Dark Empyrean, and I will not be bound by you or those you serve. I could kill you now, but I have plans for those who watch from the shadows. Now be gone. Such power.
One moment we were linked, sustaining the magic of the trial, and then an arc of energy, the likes of which I have never seen burst from you. Three mages lay dead, and two have fled screaming. I know the trial is not meant to be shared, but what in Lyria's name happened? A woman? Masked in shadow? I will need to consult my books. Perhaps later we can discuss the details. For now, we have dead to bury, and missing mages to find. As for the formalities, you have proven yourself worthy in the trial of initiation. In the name of the Scolia Arcana, I hereby confer unto you the title of Neophyte. Welcome to the Order. Come speak to me when you're ready to be of use. I am sending you to the ruin of Aeod, to the south. There, the element of fire thrives as though it has a life of its own. After your initiation trial, the magic in Aeod shifted. I believe this magic is tied to you, Initiate. Confronting it might yield some answers. Followers of Raycor dwell within. They have quite the affinity for fire, as do other creatures found there. As for what may be causing the recent swelling in power emanating from the ruin, your guess is as good as mine. Good fortune. Welcome. Shall I do? Oh, excellent. Another... Oh, a mortal. I don't think I could... Well, perhaps I might. Yes, of course. Why not? You, Dustling, how would you like to make some of your shiny, bright metal? What's it called? Ah, yes. Gold. How would you like some of that? My role is with the Hall of Appointments to prepare visiting ambassadors and dignitaries to meet with the Court of Summer. Right now, there are four terrible, uh, <coughs> regal lords and ladies that wish to see High King Tatarian. But they are a fickle lot and require extra, um, handling. They must enter the font in a procession, but each has his or her own preferences, and I can't afford to offend any of them. Wonderful. That's one less aggravation that demands my concern. Thank you, mortal. The dignitaries have been seen about the gardens, enjoying its many splendors. I will remain here and await your advice. Farewell. May the cycle uh. keep you.
<laughs> You're a long way from Felltown. Welcome to the Lyceum Grove. I am Jackson. It is strange to see a mortal so far from Felltown. Another steward? When did the gardens of Issa become such a teeming pot of nonsense? What is it? Me? Well, my seniority dictates that I should be leading this procession. But my lame leg prevents me from taking my rightful place. I should bring up the rear. I will make it to Tatarian's throne, even if I have to crawl. Great Huntress Hartwen should go first, leading us all. She's particularly like that. I would hate to anger her. Of course. Hello. I am Viscount Setter the Allseer. Are you from the Hall of Appointments?
Order? <laughs> I care nothing for order. It is the others who insist on such foolishness and frippery. However, if you are the one who determines such things, may I ask that you place me behind the warlord Wenery? I enjoy watching her backside travel. It would be best if Garnet trails far behind Great Huntress Hartman. Once at each other's throats, those two are difficult to tear apart. Always a pleasure. I am at your service, fleshy master. They're genuine fay. I hope you're here about the job. Demand is higher than ever. I'm just too busy to deal with anything else. Making a fortune is what? These visitors come with obscene amounts of gold or treasure. They don't mind parting with it. My plan was brilliant. I created a blade. Fay blade, of course, that makes them authentic. Something all of them had to have. That's all they care about anyway. Fay souvenirs. I called it the Honor Brand. Truth be told, it's dull as a stick, but it's easy to make. Listen, if you can find the parts and make them, I'll pay good money. Fabulous! Fabulous! You know a good deal when you see it. There aren't enough people like you in Issa. The Fae don't even use money. Can you imagine? Once you start forging the Honor Brands, bring them to me and I'll provide you with just compensation. It's you and me, friend. Don't abide by strangers in Issa. In this city, everyone is family. If you want to get around the peace edict, you'll have to keep your voice down. Well, technically, we're not supposed to carry or sell weapons in Issa, but I found a few loopholes. As have you. If you're on the market for something deadly, I'm your man. Just don't go blabbing about it to the Fae. They've got buds for brains.
Try now. If you're looking to buy armor, I'm the only one in Felltown who's authorized to sell it. I'm Gwen a hand, but my customers call me Gwen. I don't have many weapons to offer, on account of the peace edict, but there's still a selection to pick through. Have at it. Nice talking. You've been watching me long enough. What is it? Did I wrong you in another life, sister? I'll be here. Doesn't look like you've had any luck. Forge me an honor. Keep an eye out for parts.
of summer we'll see. Aren't you bold? This is the Varani wing of the embassy, and few venture here without being summoned. I am Ambassador Advar, he who bloodies the waters. The Varani allow the purchase of several titles for use in the gardens of Issa. They are rare, and should be worn with great respect. Ah, one of our most unusual titles. You will be watched with a close eye when you walk with this name. I proclaim you Death's Cryptic Hand. Leave me to my business. We must do what needs to be done. Perhaps we must finally swallow our dignity and draw our swords. Quiet. We must not discuss this further in the open. You must be the special messenger to Tarian's expecting. Trust me, the rest of us have heard plenty about it. Erwin can't keep his big mouth shut. I am Methani Keen, Dokulfar ambassador to the Summer Court Fay. I'm sorry. This is a difficult position sometimes. Something is about to happen, and it must be stopped. But that is all I can say. This is neither the time nor the place. If you're interested in hearing my story, meet me in the worship circle after dark, near the gates. I will wait for you there. This is not the place. I will meet you in the time and place I specified. Goodbye. Presenting the instrument of the immortals, her eminence, death's cryptic hand. If you're looking to drown your worries at the bottom of a bottle, this is the place for you. I'm Gertrude Asker, and this is my establishment. But if you're looking for the Victor's Brew, we don't sell that in Asker's Alley, and you'll have to take your business elsewhere. It's the most popular drink in Amalur, at least it is now. My Asker's Ale used to be the preferred beverage, but every day brings more cancelled orders. My brother and I are working on a new drink, but it requires something... special. Wait a minute. Maybe you could help. If you do, I could see to it that the merchants in Issa treat you well. So here's what we're thinking. Bring back our grandmother's favorite Asker's Draft, a classic. The recipe calls for bristletongue seeds. And if you're talking rare ingredients, bristletongue tops the list. It's worthless for potions, but tastes fabulous. The problem is that the Fae control the use of bristletongue, as it's a product of the Fonts waters. Talk to Jackson, their apothecary. 
He can probably get it for us. See you soon. What could you possibly want from me? I am Warlord Wenery, Lady of the Red Sands. I am not to be disturbed. Of course. But see that it doesn't happen again. I come here only to observe. I wish not to be prodded every few moments. I am not petty, but I have limits, as do we all. I know I should lead the formation because of my position, but other, more tender individuals will insist otherwise. Whatever you do, do not make me walk behind the High Fey Mage Goronet. How shall I put this? He has an odor. Careful what you say, fell person. This is most important dealing with the lords and ladies of Issa. Remember your place. Of course. Hello there, pretty. Hey there, pretty. This is Asker's Alley, best tavern in Issa. Only tavern in Issa, of course, but you didn't know that, did you? If you're new in the city, I can help. I know everything about the Understyle, the Embassy, the Scolia Arcana, you name it, I know it all. Bye now.